she was missing uh, the same time Kelly Poulton was missing. Same day. Uh, that's when I was reported missing. Um, I got involved in it in 1996. They were still, you know, they were just closing up the thing about Sandra Sully and they were having the candlelight visuals and and uh, they had a big thing on about Sandra, about Kelly Poulton, which I understand because she was a child and people's hearts go out to children more. But I felt kind of bad. They flashed, quickly flashed by Sandra Sully's mother, maybe had her say a couple of things or something. And I remarked to my wife, I said, you know, it's too bad that missing adults don't get the same type of attention. Um, I can understand, though, why they don't, but it just seems... So anyway, my heart went out to the family, and I said to my wife, I think I'll call the Savones, that's her mother and father, up in Oakfield, New York. I think I will call them and ask them if they would be interested in me donating my services for pro bono. I've been working on it now uh, 11 years with, uh, f for nothing. I know from experience that missing persons, abductions, murders, if you don't stay on top of it and keep it in the public eye, it will be forgotten. Several times hers has kind of started to die out, Sandra Sully's, and, and uh, at that point in time I would I would call the media, I would call the state police, I would get everything going again, get everything boiled up again. Sometimes people get angry for, at me for it. I don't think it was uh, an abduction or a murder at random. I think it was someone that was closer to her and had a reason or a motive. I don't want the killer, and I know she's dead, and I don't want the killer to be able to be walking around uh, with a free conscience thinking that he's free and clear. I've had a pretty good lead just recently, and we're working on. I had a call about three or four weeks ago uh, from a person who said that they, uh, who gave me some quick information, but they didn't, they were very quick on the phone. They didn't want to get involved. They gave me some quick information and I didn't get it all real clear. And I'm hoping that maybe the newspaper can help by asking the public, the person that called me, to please, please call me back from an unlisted number, a block number, whatever. I don't want to know any information except I need them to repeat what they told me because I missed a few things before they quickly hung up.